<laughs> um, and t t t today we're 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 going to be talking about Doctor Who um, and, and autism in, in today's episode of Doctor and Autism series. So, but thank you, Clara, for for joining me today. <laughs> You're most welcome. Yeah. So, do you want to do a little introduction of yourself? Hi everyone, I'm Clara from Doctor Who. <laughs> I'm talking today about autism as well and about the new Doctor Who episode of the 60th anniversary and of Jodie Whittaker's last episode. Yeah, yes, there's lots to talk about, Clara. Um, mm. so, so, shall we talk about... Um, Joey, what is his last episode first? Yeah. So, but I suppose first of all, do you like? Do you really like um Thirteenth Doctor? I'm a lover. You you, you, you love Thirteenth Doctor. Yeah, I know not many people like the Thirteenth Doctor. It's not on her. It's like the stories that she's been given, some of them are not been great. No, no, um, like. What makes you like her? I like she's very witty and quirky. Like when she's with like with the new series, like when she had the Zoltaran episode, and then they didn't realize she was the Doctor, and like she tripped, she tripped them and everything. And I just, I just, I just I found that was hilarious because I didn't realize she regenerated. Yeah, <laughs> that that was funny. It's like, By um, the way, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. It was a good, it was funny. And then Captain Jack coming back, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame he didn't get, he wasn't there long, was he, like, when he did come mm -hmm. back, not that much to see of him, but it's good that he's back, you can tell he's older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So, do you, like, like are, you, are you looking forward to our last episode? Yeah, I am looking forward to it. I will watch it. Um, intrigued of what's going to be in it. Yeah. Also, her regeneration is going to have to be in it because the, the gener in the trailer they showed you. Yeah. Do you think that's regeneration though? Well, I, it either could be what David Tennant did in. Uh, what the what one where like? the one where he tried to regenerate and didn't. Yeah, they generated it into his hand before. I think that was um, stolen earth, isn't it? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah. He, he got exterminated, he, didn't he? He got exterminated, yeah, by the Dalek. Yeah. yeah. So that could be what was happening. Yeah, yeah. Do you um, like, are you um, yeah? It, it, it's it's very, it's gonna be very interesting what happens to her, um, because. She probably will re regenerate. Um, it, there's lots of different things that can happen, but it's a good job. It's a lot longer episode as well. I think it's like an hour and a half, so lots. lots yeah, better than and after the last episode, it wasn't that long at all, really, was it? Oh, it was about. I think that they say it was an hour, but it didn't seem that long. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, it it wasn't my most favorite episode, the last one. No, it wasn't really my favorite, to be honest. I still watched it though. Yeah, probably won't watch it again though. <laughs> Skip it if you do a marathon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the thing is, it, it was just a shame about uh, Jodie's episode. I think her best episodes are probably in the last series, Flux, um, yeah. I think. Um, her first series is, for me, kind of non-existent in a way, because um, I don't remember any of them. <laughs> um, and another thing is Jodie it's just they didn't have no storyline to the and our first series they're almost like they were separate weren't they mm. yeah they, they weren't really linked like no. like the other who was like with from Crystal Weckerson to their tenant it was like the stories were, the episodes were linked through when they generated like, yeah. yeah they were like, with their tenant series like when you have Tooth and Claw, then they go back to a school reunion, they meet Mickey, then they go to the girl's fireplace and they're still together and it's like Yeah. It's 
it's, I, I like it when they continue stories, but I feel like they've done it to maybe gain more um, more people to watch it. But it doesn't seem that's happened because <laughs> I think that that's what they try to do. They they try to make uh, like they're not doing a so a massive storyline, so new people can just start off from the thirteenth Doctor maybe. No, but they can't skip nine. No. No, you you can't, can you? Nine was very good. Yeah, that's a rule, sadly. If anyone is a little shocked to you, do not skip nine. <laughs> Why do you think they're shooting skip nine? Because he gives a... He was my first Doctor that I watched on the telly. Hmm. So that's why I started watching Doctor Who. And if you don't watch that first series, and you don't really understand all of it. And then you don't see the little relationship with Rose and the Doctor. Hmm. Like, but you don't know who Captain Jack is. You don't see him then. You don't see the introduction to Captain Jack. Yeah, you'll you'll be lost when he turns up all of a sudden, hanging on the on the hanging on the TARDIS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in season three in Utopia. Yeah. They were they were really good they're episodes. Like, they're like, what? like, who is he? And we're like, I don't know who that is. Yeah, because Martha had no clue who it was, <laughs> did she? Yeah. yeah, but but yeah, I agree. You shouldn't skip nine, but um, I suppose yeah. people do, don't they? People do, don't they? People do, but they are wrong people. They are not humans. <laughs> you did yeah. skip nine, did you? No, I I, I watched it from nine. Okay. I, uh, I watched it as soon as it came out. I was about four years old. I was eight. I was um, I, I was petrified at age. I shouldn't have done it. I should have waited till I was older. Um, but someone told me to watch Doctor Who, so it's not my fault. <laughs> um, what scared you? Um, at that age, um, the monsters not so much. Well, the first probably monster that probably scared me would have been the Mummy episode with Christopher Eccleston. Like the the, the the mummy two part. Um, oh yeah, are you my mummy? Yeah, yeah. I think the bit that's scary the most is that like a scene where they showed um, mm. an actual person that like the, the 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 mask is part of the skin, so it actually it's like you're gagging it out of. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that was a bit weird. That was what did scare me. Um, I um. I think it's really good. That was the first part. Not much out of Christopher Eccleston's era really else did. Um, like, the first episode wasn't entirely scary. Um, mm-hmm. But when you move on to 10, um, he did have a few, a few scary episodes, he did. The Weeping Angels was it for me. Yeah, don't blink. <laughs> You can't, um, yeah, the, 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 I think that first Whipping Angel story was really good. The, the one he had. That was good. Yeah. It, it's nice how he came at the end as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then you had the, the Get on the Fireplace like, episode. Um, what do you think of that episode? I think it's a it's good episode. It's funny. It's sad. It's kind of like a love story, but like a sad love story. Yeah. Just she, Madame de Pompadour was going to be a companion of the Doctor's, and then when he comes back, obviously he came for another time window, and she was gone. Yeah, yeah. It, it would have been interesting if that actually happened, though. Her. I would be. Yeah. I would be really interested in that. Yeah, yeah they go through time. It's yeah. Rosa probably wouldn't have been jealous, wouldn't, wouldn't she? <laughs> yeah. Green Eye Monster. Yeah. He was jealous though, anyway, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, companions tend to be jealous, don't they? <laughs> Always. Yeah. Like, like Captain Jack was, um, he was um, the most of. I think about half of the episodes of the first series. So he was in quite a lot with Christopher Wilkinson's Doctor, the Night Doctor. Um, 
He was in about not many with David Tennant, but he was in a fair few. Yeah. He was more with Chris Webster, really. Yeah. Because David Tennant, because David, well, Chris Webster left him behind after Rose brought him back. Yeah. But, uh, I suppose he knew he he left him behind because he knew he was his character was dying in that maybe. Yeah. But yeah, like like because he mentioned with when he saw um, the phone doctor, he mentioned Rose, didn't he, Captain Jack? Yeah. And she didn't say nothing, did she? <laughs> she didn't. But also in the 50th anniversary with John Hurt, when he has Val Wolf talking to him, which is Rose. And then he says, Val Wolf, go, I could kiss you. And then David Tennant's doctor knows, Val Wolf, what? And then, Nothing, because it's been there either. That just gets. Yeah. I'm just like, come. You'd have thought John Hurt doctor would have said something. But, but it, was his, it was just the button, weren't it, in his head, I think. It, that's the character that the Bad Wolf played. He wasn't no. really there. No. Um, I think that's what the, the only thing they could have done, because they would have had to do a whole different storyline to find out how, if it was Rose, how she got away from the parallel world, maybe. Must be. Unless there was, like, unless the Bad Wolf was actually another person that beat by Rose. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, so, like, are you excited about David Tennant coming back for the, um, say, 60th celebrations? Maybe. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, is he, is he one of your favourites as well? Yeah, of course. He is, yeah. Yeah. Um, did you think he would come back? I wasn't sure if he was going to come back, but I was hoping he would. Then he came back from the 50th. Yeah. 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 With John really I can't believe Catherine takes back. I, I can't wait. I love it. Yeah. I think it helps you come back, though, because you watch her mind. I, I, I think it's going to be... Um, I, I have it in my head that what could happen, but might not happen. Um. What I think will happen is um, that the Doctor, the Doctor will regenerate back into David Tennant's Doctor. Um, and there'll be like a glitch because I, I, I don't think the Master or the Cybermen or the Dalek or the main villains of Jodie's last episode. I think there's something going to be something else um, or something. I hope it'll be something different than just Daleks and Cybermen. Yeah. No offense to them. Yeah. They get used a lot. They do, they do. I think because they have an agreement or some sort of thing with the Dalek, Dalek has to be used at least once every season. So they they don't they shouldn't use them as much. Um, but I suppose they have to use them. Are you, I prefer to see Cybermen than Daleks, though, because I think you get Daleks more often than the Cybermen, don't you? Mm. It was funny when you got them together, though, in Doomsday. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah if they're going to be, it'd be some of the, it might be a similar thing where they're together, maybe. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, m m maybe that's what, the, that's the plan. Yeah, like, yeah, and they had that little argument between one another. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it'd be nice to see more kind of stuff like that, like villains together <laughs> or, or against each other. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I think David Tennant will regenerate back into the Doctor, um, but not maybe not the Tenth Doctor. He might not come back as the Tenth Doctor. That They haven't really said um, that at the moment. No, they haven't. Um, so, it, it, I think it would be nice to lead it all off from Series 4 and going into the future, maybe. Mm, yeah. Because I think, it, I think it'd be nice if they did the whole 60th anniversary throughout the whole year. So, like, you had a lead up to the November time. So, like, different Doctors maybe had their own little episodes leading up to November. So you got David Tennant announced already with Catherine Tate and the Dawn Noble family. So that could be a, a, maybe a few episodes. And that leading up to November, finding the shooty's doctor, the shooty get was doctor, um, and everything. Yeah, I thought I'd do, actually. 
It would be. Uh, yeah, if it, everyone watched it with David Tennant back anyway, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's what it's about, I think, at the moment, just trying to get those viewers back. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, um, because David Tennant come back any time. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, I don't think many people liked it that uh, the doctor was a female doctor. Yeah, yeah, they didn't, did they? Uh, because it's always been a male, but um, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what poor people thought when the master changed to a woman. Yeah, um, that's what I thought. She was from the master to Missy. Yeah, yeah, um, but I, I, she was really good. I didn't think anything of it at first because I was kind of confused. Why? Why change it to n not the gender, just the name? Like, why is it not called the master? But I suppose you can understand it in a way. Why? But um, yeah, I like all the masters actually. All the masters. The good. thing is, what I don't get is because Missy died because she got shot by John Sim, Sim's hmm? um, master, and then the master's back with the thirteenth Doctor. Yeah. There's no explanation to how that happened because Missy was after that reincarnation of the master. Hmm. I think um, current master is um, after John Sims master, after David Tennant's master. Yeah. Because he was really angry at the end, wasn't he? J John Sims master. He was uh, proper angry. So, and he was, yeah. yeah, and the doctor, one, the master now is very angry. It it, it, it kind of relates to that master David Tennant had the, mm. a little bit, like for that anger and everything. And, and Missy was different. She kind of was a lot kinder, I think. She was a bit more kinder, yeah. She um, wasn't as angry. No. She actually listened to the doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she did, didn't she? Yeah. So th that is what um uh, that's what I think. Who knows? I haven't really explained it as such, but we may find out we might not. <laughs> but the master's always going to be there, I think. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Um, do you have any favourite episodes? Well, from Jodie or David? Or, or any, any. Um, my favourite from Chris Eccleston was Part of the Ways and the Bad Wolf. Yeah, they were good, they, they were. I think, oh, I like the speech at the end to save Rose and everything, that's a good moment. Yeah, it was a good speech. What about, um, like, Maybe the series two, like um, do, was Doomsday your favorite? It was one of my favorites, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, there's so many good episodes to choose from. Like, what did you think of M Matt Smith as Doctor? I liked his episode. I liked the first hour at the beginning, and I loved the A Good Man Goes to War. That one was really good. Yeah. They were yeah. good. They were um oh, oh, I liked quite a lot of his episodes. I, like I was sad about David Tennant leaving everything. But um yeah, I really did cry when he regenerated. Yeah, I did as well. Um I don't cry anymore, people regenerating. <laughs> <laughs> um people probably will for Jody, um um but but yeah, I didn't also from Matt Smith. David Tennant was probably the one that got me the most. I don't want to go. Yeah, because he was crying as well, a little bit. <laughs> Only because he didn't want to go, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's back now anyway, he got his, he got his wish. <laughs> yeah. I hope he doesn't regret it. Mm. Yeah, I hope so too. Um, well, what, uh, what do you think of Peter Capaldi? I like his doctor. You, you like the show I liked it. It was it wasn't one of my favourites, but I don't think he was everyone's favourite. But I enjoyed the episodes because it showed the darker side of the Doctor. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, love it. It's not that. always good. Because mm. he had to ask Clara 
he was like, God, do you think I'm a good man? Like, he didn't even know he was a good person or not. Yeah. I, I, I did like that part of him. I, I, like, he was really, um, uh, like, from the start, he said uh, he, he, he was really, like, serious, wasn't he? Mm. More serious, more, more Chris Eccleston vibes at times. Yeah, they remind me of each other, Peter Capaldi and Chris Eccleston. And he's allowed to have a Scottish accent as well. Yeah, yeah, except from the Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, David yeah, yeah, and um, Matt Smith reminds me of um, Jodie Whittaker in ways. Because of the like banter and the, the kind of children, aren't they? I like children. Yeah. Um, David Tennant is, if you relate to anyone, probably would be Peter Capaldi from just the Scottish. <laughs> have you watched any of the classic Um, I haven't, but I, I, I have seen scenes from from like parts of episodes and stuff. Have you? Yeah, I watched the first episode. Yeah. Of um, what doctor? Um, the first doctor. The first doctor. What's it like? Very, very different. It's like it's all in black and white. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's pretty good though. It's it's just it's good though. I recommend did, you watch it. Okay. Did 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 was that like a series from the first doctor then? Yeah. I think I can't. It was from not William Hartnell was from nineteen sixty three to nineteen sixty nine. Then he regenerated to Patrick Troughton. Okay. Yeah, because like the fourth Doctor, like we got Tom Baker. He he's kind of. Uh, yeah, he, he was the longest. Yeah. yeah. He was the long, longest running Doctor. What What do you think of, about them doing three series each? Like at the moment, like like from Doctor Who and that. Uh, I th- I think that's a, that's depends on the actor as well, doesn't it? But I think that's a good thing. But then I think it'd be nice to have a Doctor for a longer period of time. Like I feel like Doctor Tenet could have done so much more. Yeah. I suppose it depends what they say at the start because it, it's like any any job you have a kind of a, a contract, don't you? Yeah, um, contract only with BBC and everything. So yeah, we're gonna like kind of said, oh, yeah, you can do this certain amount of episodes. This is how many seasons we can do. I suppose they can extend it when it near enough runs out, but uh, it depends what they yeah, want to do. Yeah. The thing is, though, like even though he finished season four, he had his own little specials episode as well. Mm. Did the water smells. Yeah, like that fourth series was lasted a couple of years, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they could have done more episodes. Although he had the most, I'd say David Turner did have the most episodes out of most of the New Who Doctors. Yeah, yeah, he did. Because you don't look, I think David, Matt Smith got close to 16 episodes in a series. Um, That's the most he'd done in a series, and David had 20 for series four. Uh, and Jodie's a bit, a bit like well, with COVID and everything, so it's a bit disappointing for her not having as many. Yeah, that's not her fault. No, no, um, but yeah, so it, like, like having all these episodes, it is, um, it, it's good. Like, um, like, w- like with the next time trailer, would you rather not watch that, or or would you rather watch it? Let's just see what happens next week. What the Doctor Who? Yeah, you, you know, like you, at the end of the episode, you'll see a next time trailer. Like, um... yeah. yeah, I'll watch it. I always watch it. Yeah. Well, would you prefer it's not dead just so you're surprised for the next week? For the next week? Well, in a way, probably. I get what you mean. You were like, you don't, you don't know what to expect. Hmm. But then it's kind of nice because then you're thinking, oh my God, what's going to happen? So it keeps you, it gets you. I feel like it gets you more intrigued to want to watch it next week. Yeah. Next time. That, yeah, that's, that's it. You think about it. Then they show you, like, they show you clips of everything, and then you see the doctor, like, and they're sh- she's shouting for help. He has. And then 
it ends and you're like, what's going on? What's going to happen next? You don't yeah. know. But then I literally want to watch it. Um, what do you want to happen to Yaz's character in the last episode? In a way, I kind of want, you know, what happened with Rose, where she had her own doctor that could grow old with her. I kind of, obviously, I don't want to go to a parallel world where they can't be together. But it would be nice for her to have her own doctor as well, I think. Oh, that'd be cool. I never thought of that. Yeah, I was thinking of that earlier on. Yeah, because I think it wasn't in the last episode or in Flux where she was speaking to herself or, or a version of herself, like like the hologram or something. Yeah, she was, yeah. I think that that, that was it for that monster. I I, I got confused. <laughs> uh, I, um... uh, it was very confusing, to be honest, the Flux series. Hmm. Yeah. Like, I still don't understand it now. <laughs> so... Would you so you'd rather her be have a happy ending rather than not a happy ending? Oh, well, yeah, that's what I would hope. Mm. But, that, yeah. yeah, are you fearful that might not be the case? <laughs> well, she's screaming at her, so I'm assuming possibly not. Mm. Yeah, but do you think the doctor is screaming at her or for her? Probably for her, for her to help her. She's probably trying to say, help me. Yeah. But, yeah. but um, here's the thing that I obviously thought, because I had a conversation with someone else, and it actually makes quite a lot of sense. Um, and mm -hmm. I, uh, let, me know, let me know what you think. Well, okay. like you've seen Yaz in The Master, like when they've been on screen, they haven't really had a confrontation, really, have they? Like they haven't been angry at each other or anything. So, mm -hmm. um, this would actually be a really good uh, thing from Chipper if he done this, I think, um, because because with, with Doctor Who, no companion has really uh, betrayed the Doctor, um, really. So it, it would be interesting if they did a, did a like a bomb thing, like a, a bombshell storyline in the last episode where um, she was with the Master or betrayed the Doctor to be with the Master and. And like the Yaz was the master whole, this whole time, or or even Yaz is the master, and the master is Yaz. They kind of maybe had the body switch or something like that. So it it could be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's just quite interesting. Yeah. Uh, uh, I I thought it was. Though. That, yeah. that's a that's a pretty good storyline actually. Yeah. Uh, uh, after all this not great storylines, I would actually think um, yeah. that, that I, I, I would be happy with that. Um, oh, I would be, yeah. I would definitely watch that again. Yeah, because people wouldn't be as, like, attached, let's say, to the, to her as a character. They probably wouldn't like her anymore. Yaz <laughs> <laughs> who? Yeah. Uh, who's who's Yaz? Um... Yeah, like, uh, I think that that would be good. Although, like Doctor, Who, like the fact of Doctor hasn't lost anyone, has she? So um, she hasn't. Well, she lost Grace in the beginning. That's about it. Yeah, but but but, but what is that? Um, Graham's like wife. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but she was helping the Doctor. So yeah, but that was just the first episode. But that's pretty much doesn't really count, really. No, no, it doesn't really, does it? Because um, she, she didn't really mean anything to the Doctor. <laughs> really? Yeah, no, that's really bad, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and, like, like you had Graham um, as well, um, who left. Um, you had um, you had Ryan and Graham who left in you, so... Um, but they didn't really, they just left on their own, their own record, didn't they, Ryan and uh, Graham? They did, they left on their own record, like, Teagan did. Sorry, that's an old companion. Yeah. And like what Martha did, she left the doctor. Hmm. She saw how dangerous she could get. Yeah. Well, I never wanted to leave. Yeah. He, he, she didn't, did she? No. Um, but... But yeah, I like it when companions do that, like they leave on their own, like rather than just travelling continuously. 
But Graham yeah. was one of my favourite ca companions with Jody, though. It was funny when he bumped in, in and um, Captain Jack, he teleported him up to the ship and he yeah, thought he was the doctor. That was funny. I was like, did you miss me? I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone missed him. <laughs> Who didn't? Graham was like, Who are you? Yeah, it was funny when they thought he was, Graham was a doctor, though, wasn't it? Yeah, like, he kissed Graham and everything, it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that, that was, like, she had a really good episode in that one, and the, the, the fugitive um, one. No, oh, yeah, that's good. Um, I did like the Whipping yeah. Angel one in Flux, but that was actually a good episode. Oh, my God, yeah, that really creeped me out when they turned the doctor into Whipping Angel. I was like, no! That that was um a bit weird. Yeah, I was really weird about that. It's like I didn't know that was possible. Yeah, neither did I. Um, but it seemed that she wasn't actually a weeping angel in the end. Like she just went yeah, into yeah. this some weeping angel's mind or something. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Um, which was which was interesting. Makes sense, yeah. That was interesting. Makes sense now. Yeah, it does. It does. I just wish, like, when she got to where the destination they wanted her to get to, to that lady, which she knew about when she, before she first regenerated. Hmm. And she had the memories that she has forgotten about. Yeah. Yeah. And she, she, it. she didn't want to do it. I can understand why. I was just like, just open it. Yeah, like, I wonder what the memories are. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's what we'll see in the final episode. Maybe. Maybe that's what forces maybe to get into David Tennant because David Tennant was the last doctor to kind of have the fob watch, wasn't he? He was, yeah. Um, because we didn't get with Matt Smith or Peter Capaldi. No. No, yeah, it was David Tennant. Yeah, so it, maybe that's all what's missing. Maybe everything in that fob watch. Yeah. Um, like because it, it's weird because that that that's like you can be human from that watch so um it, it, uh, it I don't know it, it's a bit it's a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, it is weird. It's Doctor Who. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's Doctor Who. Um, Doctor Who, not normal. Not normal people. No, no. Um, let's talk about. I suppose we could talk a little about Doctor uh, about autism. Um. Mm -hmm. Like you said, like you uh, did. You say you have a couple of friends. Uh, also. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Like, like I think we said about like um maybe um uh, didn't we say like everyone like we said everyone was different, didn't we? Like at the start. Yeah. No, yeah. Everyone's different with it. Not yeah. Everyone's exactly the same with autism. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it, like people can like different things. I find quite a lot of people like Doctor Who, but uh, so, some people won't, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> um, yeah, I, did, I did get my friend into Doctor Who while I was in the Hadwell Prism. Yeah. Watched it. yeah, and are, are they yeah. still watching it now? Um, I'm not sure. But... Uh, let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope so. Yeah, so, like, I think when you watch so, when you watch something like Doctor Who, you, you don't stop, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, but... Yeah, like you might watch the same episodes. Um, I think yeah, that, that's the thing with autism. You may, you may watch the same thing again, over and over and again. Um, like you got Rose. Um, you you've got Rose. You um, like like you, you may watch her episodes constantly. Depends who you like in it. Um, I spoke to people that maybe get attached to a certain character. Maybe um, yeah. it, it might be Joe Whitaker and maybe the Temp Doctor. I suppose you do in a fact in a way, don't you? Because if you if you really like I suppose the tenth doctor and you cry at the end, do you know how attached you got to? <laughs> yeah, I got pretty attached. Yeah. 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 But then yeah, you you know when you cry during the regeneration from Ben Tennant, then when Matt Smith comes in and speaks and says all the stuff mm. and you start laughing. Yeah, I, I did like that. I did like it. Like I, I watched people um 
I, I've watched like things where like you know where you can see people sort of like reactions to the regeneration mm. and that, and it is yeah. quite funny because they go mad at Matt Smith because they don't like him because he's just changed he changed his face to Matt Smith, and they all really love Lev Doctor and they're all crying their eyes out. <laughs> Um, but uh, it's weird, you know. Like, like that's the thing. Everyone has a different opinions. Like, some people won't like Matt Smith. Some people will like Peter, Peter Capaldi. Some people will think Peter Capaldi's last speech was more like upsetting than the Tenth Doctor's. So, like, what do you think about that? Do you think what would you say is more upsetting, the Tenth Doctor's last lines or Peter Capaldi's last speech? When you before you go, to be honest. I'll be honest here. I don't actually remember Pete Capaldi's last yeah. speech. You don't remember? <laughs> I, I more remember David Tennant, so I was probably more attached to that. Yeah. That, yeah. That's my opinion. People may yeah. be mad at me. Yeah, yeah I, I suppose it depends um, how you are um, to a yeah. doctor. Like, like if you're yeah, so like him or not. Well, I just started watching Up To after the prison accident and then I went to David Tennant and I, was, I watched it every time it was aired. Hmm. So I kind of... You went through, I think the doctor went through. Yeah. Yeah, like, I wasn't... It took me ages to, to kind of get attached to Peter Capaldi's doctor. Um, probably towards the last series. Really. Um... And it still didn't kick kick in, but like like with David Tennant, it was straight away. Matt Smith it was straight away. Chris Wilkinson it was straight away. Then after mm. Matt Smith, it weren't straight away. <laughs> um, so it kind of went downhill from there. I did like Jodie's first episode though, when she fell out the sky. Um, I did, yeah. I, I did, but um, I, I would like to know more about like how she got on the ground so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think that, that, that's always the best episode the first episode of a Doctor I think it's really good when you see the first episode of a Doctor and you haven't seen it before yeah and then she didn't know who the hell she was and it was just yeah. I, think that, I think that was a great start and then she was like I don't know who I am yeah I am the Doctor yeah because like you had David Tennant was Christmas Invasion like you had a Christmas episode um yeah. That was a really good one. One of the best Christmas episodes, I'd say. Oh, the Christmas Invasion, that was good. Yeah, and then you got the 11th hour from Matt Smith. Yeah. Um, which was lovely. I, I really liked that one. Um, then you had your Chris Wilkerson, you had Rose, which was a, a really good episode. Like, I liked it because you see more the companion to start with. Exactly, yeah. It was a good one. Um, and then for Peter Capaldi, I think it was Deep Breath. I, I actually did like that episode in, in ways. Um, I liked it because of the the monster. I like the monster in it. You don't really get them like where you got to hold your breath to not get seen and everything. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, it's good actually. Um, yeah, then we got Jodie Whittaker's one, um, which was which is pretty cool. Um, but the, the, the good thing is like um, like with um. Like, like with Jodie, she, she's the 13th Doctor and she got a 13th series, um, which is pretty cool. And then with the 14th Doctor, we get a 14th series. <laughs> um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool actually. Yeah. But in a way, it's kind of like the um, 14th Doctor because of the War Doctor. I think that you you can class them with like, like, like it, it's all like complicated, isn't it? Like, because you have. Like, yeah. You count possibly David Tennant's regeneration for the Dalek as an extra regeneration. You count yeah. you count um, Peter Capaldi's quick zap as a probably a, a regeneration. You count Matt Smith's extra like long regeneration outside. Mm. Um, so there's probably multiple more, but I think they just count that. They don't in the Doctors. They don't count that. But it probably is a you're probably on the 16th. You would probably be on probably the 18th maybe Doctor by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would do. Uh, is that the case? Yeah, yeah, that's um, probably true. Yeah, because you've got the Metacrist Doctor, haven't you? So, is he another version of the Doctor? <laughs> you don't know. Um, and then you've got the Doctor that wrote Jojo bumped into in the Jojo episode. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you got that one as well. Um, who we don't know much about even now, so 
Hopefully that will get revealed. Uh, hopefully. We hope so. We hope so. Um, well, um, it's been a great experience to you. Well, well, actually, before we go, um, why, um, like, because you, 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 you like doing videos of Clara. So why, um, why, why do you, um, like doing videos of Clara? I connect with her mostly. And I, I, I love the quote that she says. I was born to save the doctor. It was like one of my favourite quotes. Oh, so, I'm an impossible girl. Yeah. yeah. So you're born to save the doctor. Um oh. and put on the possible girl. Yeah. I think that's a really good quote. Um um because she was and she did. <laughs> and the really funny thing was obviously at the beginning we didn't know you were gonna see her again. Like there was multiple Claras. Yeah. And all around the you know, and she saved the doctor each time. Yeah, because um, it was it, it reminds me a bit like Rory because you have multiple versions of Rory, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Um, so it, it it was really interesting, um, but but yeah, like the Clara was really good, um, like I, I did like uh, she's probably underrated, isn't she? A little bit. She's very underrated companion. I don't think many people enjoyed Clara much. A bit like Martha, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Yes, I think that they're the main two. Like, I, I like you, you love Donna, and then you love Rose, but and then you love Amy and Rory, but they're not as hyped up as the characters. No, not really. Not many people mention them much. Yeah, yeah, because you you got another Rose character. We're gonna find out who she is, like sixtieth and that. So that's good. That's gonna be all good. <laughs> um, interesting. Yeah. Lots of lots of interesting stuff, but uh, I love the quote. Um, it's a it's a it's a really good quote. Um, and good that you can relate to it as well. Yeah. So um, thank you, um, Clara. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I did actually. It was fun. Thank you. <laughs> no problem.